Assalamualaikum everyone. My name is Anma Warda binti Ibrahim and I'm going to start our case study presentation for NDN 30303. Our group used design procedures in order to plan a nutrition education intervention program for worker in indoor setting. First of all, I will explain for step D. D means we need to decide the behavior of our targeted audience. In this case, we need to assess the issue and behavior of the worker in indoor setting. Generally, in February 2020, World Health Organization state that obesity has reached the epidemic proportion globally, with at least 2.8 million people dying because of the overweight and also obesity problem. While in Malaysia, it has the highest prevalence of obesity especially among the adults and mostly preceded by the female. Overweight and obese are likely associated with someone's dirty choice and sedentary lifestyle. Specifically, work demand in Malaysia will increase the workplace stress. This will affect workers' eating behavior, food choices, and also their physical activity. For example, when they are too stressed and busy, they tend to take unhealthy snacks such as chocolate, snacks that high contain in sodium, fat, and also greasy food. Sometimes, doing some work will increase the feeling to choose something. This, it will increase the weight accidentally. Other than that, due to the long working hours and pressure of time, the indoor worker are mostly living in the sedentary lifestyle. Work schedule density and daily busyness are barrier for them to have an active lifestyle. This group are likely to consume large amount of high fat and high sugar snacks. So, we have provided three behavior goals which can give many benefits for them. Firstly, increase the intake of healthy snacks. Secondly, practice healthy lunchbox from home to work and lastly, reduce the intake of fast food. This behavior are prioritized in terms of importance and desirability to the audience. In order to make this program become more effective, we will focus on only one of the three behaviors and that is increase the intake of healthy snack. So thank you so much, that's all from me. Now I'm going to pass this presentation to our next presenter. Hello everyone, my name is Azila Nabila Minta Musa. I will continue to explain part E and part S. E is a part where we explore or identify the determinants to achieve our program behavioral goals. For motivational, there are two determinants that influence our participant. First is perceived benefits. Audience said that they want to know the specific benefits that they will get if they practice eating healthy snack, such as the role of healthy snack in keeping their body healthy and also how it can make them losing weight and really stress. Second is perceived barrier. Audience said that they want to figure out the solution to specific barrier if they practice eating healthy snack. For example, the specific barrier that they stated is cost, limited of time, accessibility and their peer perception towards the practice. For facilitating theory-based determinant, we found that behavioral capability and also self-efficacy are the crucial determinants. First, behavior capability. Audience said that most of them doesn't know how to prepare the healthy snacks. So they would like to improve their food preparation and selection skills related to healthy snacks. For self-efficacy, they need to increase their self-confidence of their ability and confidence to find, purchase and prepare healthy snacks, such as where they can get all the ingredients for the healthy snacks and how can they eat in front of their colleague. Now, we will proceed for part S, which is select theory and clarify philosophy. This is the framework that come out according from four determinants before. We choose health belief model for motivational determinants and social cognitive theory for facilitating determinants. For everyone information, this framework will be the guide for our program. We found that before, reference group pressure and also social academic status of our audience are influenced for our determinants of these behavior changes. For perceived benefits, we need them to learn about the benefits of eating healthy snack in order to encourage them that they have to change. For this phase, we target to increase their interest and concern to take action. After they consider to take action, we will focus on perceived barrier where we show them that all the barrier they stated before can be solved with easy solution. This will lead them to decide to take action in order to change their behavior. After they already decide that they want to take the action, we move to facilitating phase where we initiate them to act. We will provide skills and knowledge in order for them to learn 
relevant skills that can help all the participants to practice intake of healthy snacks. After we increase their behavioral capability, we're going to increase all the participants' self-efficacy in order for them to maintain their behavior changes. All participants must know and confident that they have the ability and believe that they can adapt the eating healthy snack practice at work. Therefore, they will maintain the action. Lastly, in the end of the program, we want to see if there is increase in motivation to practice healthy snack. Second, increase of self-efficacy to practice eating healthy snack. Third, increase intake of healthy snack. Fourth, decrease intake of packaged snack. And lastly, we want to see if there is contribution to their healthy weight. That's all from me and I will pass to my friend for further explanation. Assalamualaikum, my name is Nurul Shahida. I will continue with I, which is indicate general objective. I will tell you about the objective for each determinant. For motivational theory-based determinant and facilitating theory-based determinant. For motivational theory-based determinant, for determinant perceived benefit, the objective for this determinant is to increase knowledge about eating healthy snack among participants. Next, for determinant perceived barrier, the objective for this determinant is to give exposure to the participant that preparing healthy snack can be easy, convenient and affordable. For facilitating theory-based determinant, which is behavioral capability and self-efficacy, the objective for behavioral capability is to facilitate ability to improve their food preparation and selection skills related to healthy snack. Next, self-efficacy. The objective for self-efficacy is to enhance their self-confidence to find, purchase, prepare and eat healthy snack. Next is D, which is generate plan. Plan or activities that we can do relate to the determinant and the objective. I will tell you about the activities related to motivational determinant, which is perceived benefits and perceived barrier. First of all, we need to know the objective of the activities for each determinant. For perceived benefit, the objective of the activity to introduce about healthy snake and to state the benefit of eating healthy snake. Activities that we can do to achieve this objective. First, provide list of healthy snake such as fruit salad and apple slice with almond butter. Second, provide information what is healthy snake. Third, provide scientific evidence regarding to the benefits of eating healthy snake by using infographic, pamphlet and poster. Next, perceived barrier. The objective of the activity. First, identify the barrier of eating healthy snake. Second, propose way to overcome barrier to prepare healthy snack. And third, describe easy and convenient to prepare healthy snack. Next, the activities which are group brainstorm about barrier on eating healthy snack through group survey, virtual meeting and face-to-face -face group session. And then group brainstorm ways to overcome the barrier. And the last one, discuss with the participants on how to prepare healthy snack easily despite with their situation. Without further ado, we will continue with the determinant that is based on facilitating theory. The determinant is behavioral capability and also self-efficacy. For behavioral capability, the activity's uh, objective was to describe on how some food can be used and considered as healthy snacks and also prepare simple recipes by using healthy ingredients. The activities uh, involve provide recipes and shows demonstration on how to prepare healthy snacks and also present tips and exciting cooking experience on how to use variety of food ingredients, especially uh, fruit and vegetables, as healthy snacks. For self-efficacy, the objective was to develop a plan to enhance self-confidence in order to find, purchase, and prepare healthy snacks even during a busy day. Um, it is also to assist them on how to have healthy snacks during work time. The activities involve provide plan that consists range of healthy food ingredients prices, choices of healthy ingredients that can be used, um, where to get it easy, and list of recipes of healthy snacks. Encourage them to eat healthy snacks daily and also encourage them to give constructive and positive comments to each other during and after eating healthy snacks at work. Finally, we have come to the final step which is uh, to nail down evaluation plan in order to evaluate whether our program was carried out successfully or not. The behavioral outcomes is to increase participants' intake of healthy snacks every day. The instruments that will be used is a food frequency questionnaire and the indicator of achievement uh, will be a statistically significant increase in intake of healthy snacks compared to before the program was being carried out. Thank you, that's all from me. I'll pass to the next person to continue.
Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Ainu Anissa binti Abdul Halim. I'm going to continue with the presentation. For the first uh, determinant which is perceived benefit, the outcome to measure is to increase the knowledge about eating healthy snack among the participants. The instrument being used is multiple choice question on benefit and scientific evidence linking on the eating healthy snack with the health. The indicator of achievement is improved score on instrument measuring understanding of the impact of healthy snack on health and disease before and after intervention. A second is perceived barrier. The outcome to measure is giving exposure to participants that preparing of healthy snack is easy, convenient and affordable. Uh, the instrument being used is survey uh, scale with the responses of 1 to 5 on purchase barrier to eating more healthy snack. The question uh, that can be used is cost is a barrier when I'm preparing, preparing the healthy snack. The indicator of achievement is a decreased cost on the instrument measuring perceived barrier. Next is the behavior capacity. The outcome to measure is facilitate ability to improve their food preparation and selection skill related to healthy snack. The instrument is multiple choice question, open-ended question and scenario on how to prepare the healthy snack. The indicator of achievement is increased score on instrument measuring knowledge and skill about eating and preparing healthy snack. Lastly is self-efficacy. Uh, the outcome to measure is enhance their self-confidence to find, purchase, prepare and eat healthy snack. The instrument uh, is survey. The scale with, scale with responses of 1 to 5 on how confident participants feel about preparing and eating healthy snack. Second is photography journ journaling platform. Upload daily they eat healthy snack. The indicator of achievement is improved score on instrument measuring self-efficacy on to find, purchase, prepare and eat healthy snack. Second is consistency of uploading the photo. And that's all for me. Thank you. These are our references. That's all from us. Thank you.